Now, Action 10's Cole Vaughn with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Mexico is bracing for Category 3 Hurricane Willa's outer edges as they are brushing the Mexican Pacific coastline right now. The area is home to many popular tourist destinations and is, this is on track to be one of the strongest hurricanes to even hit that region. Willa is expected to make landfall at some point within the next few hours and I'll have the latest information on Willa coming up in just a second. First, so you can see the Doppler radar is actually pretty quiet today across the coastal bend. We had a lot of cloud cover in place and that's something we've been uh, continuing for quite some time now, but the the rainfall actually kind of ended for today. That's not necessarily going to be the case though by tomorrow. In fact, you can still see off to our northwest. There is still some Pacific moisture that is moving over the region, so the rain chances are going to continue even tomorrow as we continue to get more and more of this Pacific moisture in our atmosphere. Thanks to Hurricane Willa down in the Pacific. So speaking of, here's the latest information. It's now a category three storm with winds of 120 miles per hour. You can see there's the center of the storm right there, and it's finally made that northeasterly turn and is now headed toward the Mexican coastline and it'll be there here within the next few hours. I would suspect that uh, certainly by the time we come back on at 10 o'clock tonight, this has already moved inland. So still a very powerful storm that is moving in right now and here's that path. Notice that it does bring it in the general vicinity of South Texas, but also notice the wind speeds by tomorrow afternoon only at 30 miles per hour. So that's kind of at the bottom end of the scale. So it doesn't look like we're going to see any impacts from this except for the rainfall. Usually the mountains of Mexico, uh, the Sierra Madre kind of tear the storms apart as they try and move across Mexico and that prevents it uh, from really bothering Texas aside from some rainfall. So we'll show you this on future tracker. You can see that area of low pressure moves up closer to our area by tomorrow afternoon and then by Thursday Day, it's already moving on out of here, and that's when we're going to finally start to see things clearing out. So here's tomorrow's forecast. We're basically going to have the chance of rain all day long. It may not necessarily rain all day long, but there's at least going to be a chance for it all throughout the day. Temperatures in the 60s as well because the cloud cover and the rain in the area, so it's going to be another cool and below average day for tomorrow. So let's show you future tracker up close here, and you can see that the clouds are going to be in place all throughout the night tonight. Then we start to watch what's going on to our west. You can see the rain is really beginning to pick up by tomorrow morning to the west of Corpus Christi. And then as we head throughout the afternoon and the evening hours, a lot of that starts to move into the coastal bend and dropping uh, some rainfall with it. As we get into Thursday morning, it's all already moved off to the east, though. We're still going to have some clouds in place, but look at by the afternoon. We start to see the clouds begin to break and the sunshine is going to start to move into the area. So let's talk about the rainfall totals because those are going to be elevated, especially off to our north, where we could be looking at two to three inches for the San Antonio area. But as we move further to the south, you start to see that those rainfall totals taper off. In fact, here in the coastal bend, you could be looking at maybe an inch up there for the northern counties and for the southern counties, you could be looking at half inch or even less than that. So this isn't going to be a super big rain event for the coastal bend. But that said, we are still releasing water from Lake Corpus Christi because it is so full. Further downstream, these locations have been in flood stage. Uh, the Nueces River Ed Blunts are still in flood stage because of how much water they're having to release. And then further downstream, the Nueces River at Cal Allen is in action stage, which is kind of that uh, warning stage before you actually get to flood stage. So the rivers are still elevated. And unfortunately, where most of this rain is going to fall over the next few Few days is actually up here in the northern portion of the Lake Corpus Christi watershed. So eventually all of this rainfall is going to start to move further down the Nueces River and into Lake Corpus Christi, which means we're going to have to continue to release water out of the lake as more of that water continues to flow in. So here's your seven day forecast. You can see that tomorrow is really the only good chance of rain for the next three days. As we get into Thursday, that's when we're going to finally start to see the clearing occur from west to east. Then by Friday, look at this abundant sunshine temperatures back up into the upper 70s thanks to all that sun and then by Saturday and Sunday, our winds shift a little bit and the sunshine that brings us up to temperatures in the 80s. And then we see a cold front move through as we get late Sunday into Monday, which looks to bring us back down into the 70s for the start.